हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैथ्स क्लास टिल नाउ वी कंप्लीटेड 15 प्रॉब्लम्स इन रेंज ऑफ ए फंक्शन वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डू अनदर फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स यू ऑब्जर्व इन दिस फर्स्ट थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स आर ऑफ वन टाइप एंड लास्ट टू प्रॉब्लम्स आर ऑफ अनदर टाइप फर्स्ट थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स आर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम्स especially this third problem if you already know this model i want you to try the third problem first your own okay later you check the answer in this video so to understand the things clearly i request you to watch first three problems and these two problems with the help of shortcut i'll complete quickly finding range of a function problems are little difficult only to make the things are easier i am doing model wise problems at one place so that you can feel this is easy before going to start this video please drop a like for this video without much delay let's begin the class you observe this question number 16 we need to find range of 1 divided by 2 minus cos 3x to find range of this function first i will try to know this 2 minus cos 3x value lies in which interval whatever x value you take cos x value lies in between minus 1 and plus 1 so here whether it is 3x or 4x or 5x whatever it is cos of some angle cos theta value always lies in between minus 1 and plus 1 what i am trying now i am trying to find 2 minus cos 3x lies in which interval so i'll try to get this expression here minus is there na to get minus here i'll multiply this complete inequality with minus first multiply this complete inequality with minus minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 you know that for an inequality if you multiply with a negative real number inequality sign changes here less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to i am multiplying with minus na minus 1 into cos 3x is minus cos 3x inequality changes because i am multiplying with negative real number this less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 i got like this what i am trying i am trying to get this 2 minus cos 3x here minus cos 3x is there i need 2 how i will get 2 here for this complete inequality i'll add 2 for this complete inequality you add 2 1 plus 2 is 3 when we add a positive real number inequality remains same only 1 plus 2 is 3 3 is greater than or equal to 2 i am adding 2 this complete inequality greater than or equal to minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 is 1 okay so here this can be written as this can be written as 1 less than or equal to 2 minus cos 3x less than or equal to 3 you observe i written from this side 1 less than or equal to 2 minus cos 3x less than or equal to 3 you know that 3 is greater than 2 means 2 is less than 3 only na so i written from this side this can be understood easily what i want i want range of this function 1 divided by 2 minus cos 3x is reciprocal of this okay while doing reciprocals you need to keep this point in your mind for an inequality when you write its reciprocal if both numbers are positive inequality sign changes when both numbers are negative then also inequality sign changes if one is positive another is negative at that time when we write its reciprocal we cannot say whether inequality changes or not okay this expression 2 minus cos 3x lies in between 1 and 3 that means this value is in between 1 and 3 whatever value you take in between 1 and 3 it is positive only now so what i'll do here for this i can directly write its reciprocal because 2 minus cos 3x value is positive here so write its reciprocal what i said when both the numbers are positive when you write its reciprocal inequality sign changes write its reciprocal 1 by 1 less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to i am just writing reciprocal of this inequality write reciprocal of this what you will get 2 minus cos 3x is inequality sign changes na less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to 1 by 3 okay this i'll write in this order reverse order what you will get 1 by 3 less than or equal to 1 divided by 2 minus cos 3x less than or equal to 1 you see here this this function i got here this value is lies in between 1 by 3 and 1 i hope you are understanding so what i can say now range of this function i can say now what is the range of this function range of this function is closed interval 1 by 3 comma 1 this is range of this function i hope you understand uh, how patience 
try to understand first three problems in this then you will come to know what point I want to discuss exactly. You observe this question number 17. We need to find range of the function 1 divided by 5 sin x minus 6. Here uh, what I will do first I will try to find this 5 sin x minus 6 lies in between what interval. You know that range of sin x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1. Here sin x is there now so I will write that point sin x value lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. Whatever x value you take sin x value lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. We know this point. Now I am trying to get this expression. In this expression here 5 sin x is there now. To get 5 sin x I will multiply this complete inequality with 5. You know that for an inequality if we multiply with a positive real number inequality remains same. So multiply this with 5 minus 1 into 5 is minus 5. Inequality remains same because 5 is a positive real number less than or equal to 5 sin x less than or equal to multiply this with 5 1 into 5 is 5. What happened here this complete inequality I multiplied with 5. Why I multiplied with 5? Because I am trying to get this expression 5 sin x minus 6. Okay. Here 5 sin x I got. Now what I need? I need minus 6. To get 5 sin x minus 6, I will subtract this complete inequality with 6. Okay. So subtract with 6. You know that for an inequality, if we subtract with a real number, inequality sign remains same. Okay. Minus 5 minus 6. That is minus 11. Less than or equal to... 5 sin x minus 6 less than or equal to 5 minus 6 is minus 1. Now you observe this expression lies in between minus 11 and minus 1. You take any number in between minus 11 and minus 1 that is clearly negative. Just now in last problem we discussed that for an inequality when both the numbers are negative when I do their reciprocal inequality sign changes. So whatever value you take that value is clearly negative. So I can write directly its reciprocal. What point I am trying to discuss exactly that you can understand after next problem. Okay. So what is the reciprocal of this minus 1 divided by 11 as you are writing its reciprocal inequality sign changes less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to 1 divided by 5 sin x minus 6 less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to write its reciprocal 1 divided by minus 1 that is minus 1 only. Now you observe this this in same inequality I will write from this end first I am writing this minus 1 less than or equal to 1 divided by 5 sin x minus 6 less than or equal to minus 1 divided by 11. What happened I got this expression I got this function here you observe what I came to know that this value lies in between minus 1 and minus 1 by 11. What is range of this function range of this function is closed interval here equality is there now that's why closed interval closed interval minus 1 comma minus 1 divided by 11. I hope you understand this. See, I am saying again and again, you please try to understand first three problems, then you will come to know what point exactly I want to discuss. You observe this question number 18, we want to find range of this function. Very interesting problem, right? Normal procedure only. First, I will try to find this expression lies in which interval. Here cos x is there. Na? You know that range of cos x is closed interval minus 1 comma 1. You know that you take any real x value. Cos x value always lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. Now what I am trying, I am trying to get this expression. This expression lies in which interval. What is this expression? This expression is 1 minus 2 cos x. Minus 2 cos x. I need minus 2 cos x here. To get minus 2 cos x, this complete inequality, I will multiply with minus 2. Multiply with minus 2, minus 1 into minus 2 is 2. You know that for an inequality, if you multiply with a negative real number, inequality sign changes. This less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to. I am multiplying this complete inequality with minus 2. Now, minus 2 into cos x is minus 2 cos x. Inequality changes, less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to. 1 into minus 2 is minus 2. You see here I got minus 2 cos x. Now what I am trying for? I am trying for this expression 1 minus 2 cos x. How I will get 1 minus 2 cos x here? For this complete inequality I will add 1. Add 1 to this complete inequality 2 plus 1 is what? 3. 3 is greater than or equal to add 1. 1 minus 2 cos x. Greater than or equal to add 1 minus 2 plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is what? Minus 1. Now the same inequality I will write from this end so that it looks good. Yes. Start writing minus 1 less than or equal to when you write from this side 
you need to write less than or equal to 1 minus 2 cos x less than or equal to 3. 1 minus 2 cos x value lies in between minus 1 and 3. You please observe clearly. In between minus 1 and 0, all numbers are negative. In between 0 to 3, all numbers are positive. You cannot write its reciprocal directly. That is the point I am discussing from the beginning onwards. For an inequality, when you write its reciprocal, if both numbers are positive or both numbers are negative, then its sign changes. When one number is positive, another number is negative. When you write its reciprocal, you cannot decide whether sign changes or not. So here, and one more thing, and one more thing, in between minus 1 and 3, 0 is there. Na? You observe this function, this function is 1 minus 2 cos x. 1 minus 2 cos x never be 0. You see here, there is a chance as per this, as per this, in between minus 1 and 3, 0 is there or not. If 1 minus 2 cos x is 0, this denominator is 0. If this denominator is 0, this function is not defined. So you need to remove the values for which function is not defined. So here it is clear. This is important point. 1 minus 2 cos x cannot be equal to 0. If 1 minus 2 cos x is 0, denominator is becoming 0, then this function is not defined. Actually what I need? I need 1 divided by 1 minus 2 cos x. Directly I can write its reciprocal. But the problem is we cannot say that this value is completely positive. We cannot say that this value is completely negative to write its reciprocal. In between minus 1 to 0, negative numbers are there. In between 0 to 3, positive numbers are there. And I know that 1 minus 2 cos x not equal to 0. By considering all the points, I'll write this like this. Minus 1 less than 1 minus 2 cos x less than 0. Okay, less than 0. And what happening here? I am writing the same thing, but I am not writing 0 because 1 minus 2 cos x cannot be equal to 0. And 0 less than 1 minus 2 cos x less than or equal to 3. Do not confuse what I got here. Same thing I written, but just 0 is not included. See here, minus 1 to 0 and 0 to 3. Here one thing is very clear. In between minus 1 and 0, whatever the numbers are there, they are all negative. When we know that this value is clearly negative, then I can write its reciprocal. Right? When I write its reciprocal, inequality changes. 1 divided by minus 1 is what? Minus 1. Less than or equal to changes to greater than or equal to. Write its reciprocal 1 divided by 1 minus 2 cos x. Write its reciprocal greater than 1 by 0. And you observe that this less than 0 means all these values are negative here. Further, if I write this minus 1 greater than or equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 2 cos x is greater than this is 1 by 0 is infinity. Actually, here all these values are negative less than 0 less than 0 means negative here. This is nothing but minus infinity. Please don't confuse. So finally, what I can write same inequality. I will write from this end. Okay, minus infinity less than 1 divided by 1 minus 2 cos x less than or equal to minus 1. Okay, keep this aside and come to this and and you observe here 1 minus 2 cos x value lies in between 0 and 3. All the values in between 0 and 3 are positive. So I can write its reciprocal. When I write its reciprocal, inequality sign changes. 1 by 0 is infinity. And when I write its reciprocal, inequality changes. Na? This less than changes to greater than. Write its reciprocal 1 divided by 1 minus 2 cos x greater than or equal to. I am writing its reciprocal na? inequality changes. This is what 1 by 3. Now I will write from this end. Okay. Write from this end what you will get. 1 by 3 less than or equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 2 cos x strictly less than infinity. So you observe from 1 and 2. Observe 1 and 2. You observe 1 and 2. This function lies in this interval and same function lies in this interval also. So from 1 and 2 can I write range? Yes, I can. So from 1 and 2. So from 1 and 2 what is the range of the function? You observe minus infinity to minus 1. Minus infinity. For infinity always open bracket minus infinity to minus 1. Here I written closed interval. Here less than or equal to. Equality is there. No? That's why minus 1 union. Union. Here from where to where? 1 by 3 to infinity. You see for 1 by 3 less than or equal to is there. So union closed interval. Less than or equal to is there. 1 by 3 comma infinity. I hope you understand this. Now another two problems are there. Those two problems I am going to do with the help of shortcut. 
whenever you see the function of the form a cos x plus b sin x plus c then its range is closed interval c minus root over a square plus b square comma c plus root over a square plus b square you observe this question number 19 range of cos x plus sin x plus c by seeing this you can easily identify it is of the form a cos x plus b sin x plus c when given function is of the form a cos x plus b sin x plus c then you can write its range with the help of the shortcut formula so what is the range of this function a cos x here a is 1 plus b sin x sin x coefficient is b b is 1 c is 3 so c what is c here c is 3 3 minus root over a square cos x coefficient is 1 na? a square 1 square is 1 only plus b square b square sin x coefficient is 1 1 square is 1 only comma 3 plus root over a square plus b square that is 1 plus 1 right a square plus b square 1 plus 1 now what you will get its range 3 minus root 2 comma 3 plus root 2 so the range of the function cos x plus sin x plus 3 is 3 minus root 2 comma 3 plus root 2 very easy right now we will see one more problem of same type you observe this the range of cos x minus sin x you observe this this problem is also of this form only a cos x plus b sin x plus c you may think that here plus c is not there that is nothing but plus 0 cos x coefficient is 1 that means a is 1 sin x coefficient is minus 1 that means b is minus 1 so here a is 1 b is minus 1 c is 0 so this is of the form a cos x plus b sin x plus c now what is the range of this function range of this function is c minus what is c here c is 0 minus root over a square plus b square a square 1 plus b square minus 1 whole square is 1 only a square plus b square is what 2 comma c plus c is 0 c plus root over a square plus b square a square plus b square value is 2 in this problem so what you got what is the range of this function range of this function is closed interval minus root 2 comma plus root 2 so range of cos x minus sin x is closed interval minus root 2 comma root 2 in this way you can easily say range of a function when given function is of the form a cos x plus b sin x plus c what to remember what is range of a cos x plus b sin x plus c its range is closed interval c minus root over a square plus b square comma c plus root over a square plus b square if you like this video please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends so that they also will get benefit from my classes in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now thanks for watching have a great day bye bye